what is up YouTube it's Lone Star Icast here and if you can tell by the background we're doing more outdoor showcases right in front of me if you guys didn't see the last video where I reviewed the first wave of ultra hots this is the second wave of ultra hots this set along with the third wave which I'm gonna try to get soon is hitting targets in big bulks in shippers yes hot wheels are making ultra hot shippers to display at Target. These are only available at Target. Unless you're in Canada, you can find these at Walmart. It's very windy out here. I apologize for the wind noise and the leaf noise because it's in the middle of a field. But without further ado, um, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all these cool models. Um, these cars are pretty cool. Now, before we take a look at these, all these cars do have Spectre Flame paint. Most of them have the Ultra Hot wheels and they all have full details. They all have plastic bases, and I think it's one of the best store-themed exclusive sets of the year. I have all eight of the Series 2 mix right in front of me, and today we're going to be taking a look at these, and we're going to be seeing which ones are your favorite. Now let's do this. Starting off the Series 2 mix with car number one out of eight is probably one of the peg warmers of the set. It is the 68 mercury cougar now this thing this thing has been a supercharger on twice it was a supercharger in 2019 which is the ugly version of it and it was a supercharger in 2021 which is the better version of it this casting was also a car culture release pretty cool underrated i don't know if it was an rlc but this car is in spectra flame red it has the ultra hot wheels all it has the cool deck on it it says 68 on the side it's the name 68 mercury cougar very cool to see this basic store theme exclusive one get the full premium deco treatment on it. It's a very beautiful car, especially outside as you can see. It's a pretty cool looking car. I love the car art too. Once again, these all have chrome plastic bases. Just like this. There is the Cougar. And now we go to car number two. This one's also the peg warmer of the series. And this casting comes back again. This is the 1964 Brazilian, not 1964, 1974 Brazilian Dodge Charger. This casting, last time we saw it was in 2015, then it disappeared for a while. And then it recently came back in the 2022 Zamac Walmart box mix. And here it is as the Ultra Hot car. And then it was also released in the Mission Model Series 2. If you want to go check that video out, I have a review on all three of those chases in that video. But anyways, this car is in Spectra Flame, what do we call that? Copper Orange. Yeah, I think that's Copper Orange. This one gets the full premium treatment on it as well. Um, a lot of people would confuse this to the untrained eye for the 68 Dodge Dart, which it looks very similar to it, minus the front. But the Brazilian Dodge Charger, I thought it was a little bit bigger. Well, it's actually smaller than I thought it was. So there is the Brazilian Dodge Charger, as you guys can see here. Full detail, it says Dodge on the back. Front details, of course, can't put it there because there's nowhere to put it. But this, these sets are really cool. So there is your Brazilian Dodge Charger. All right, guys, still staying strong in the American muscle with car number three out of eight in the series. This one's a heavy one. This is the 68 Shelby GT500. This is, this is the modified version of the normal version. I have the normal version of it, which is very beautiful, the first edition, which is very beautiful. For some reason, this one is a hard one to find. I don't know why, but it is heavy, even though it has a chrome, not chrome base, a plastic base. It's in Spectre Flame Gold, once again, it's the full treatment of beats. It has number six on the side. I love how all these cars have good full detail on them. Very nice. Nothing in the license plate though, which is a bummer. I thought it would say 68 on the license plate, but it's a very big casting. We haven't seen this casting much really. I mean, we've seen it in a 9-pack, I think. We've seen it as a Zamek. And yeah, so there's that one. Heading over from American Muscle, we now slam down and land into the JDM territory with car number 4 out of 8 of the series. This one is one of the most sought-after ones out of the set. This is the Nissan Silvia S14 Drift. This guy, this guy right here, this one debuted in Hobbles ID. Of course, they discontinued it in early 2022. And this is the second version of it now. Will we see more versions of this now in the mainline? Maybe. I like this one a lot. I can see why people like it a lot. It's very cool. 
It's a spec flame purple, has the mismatch ultra hot wheels. Front ones are purple, back ones are chrome. Very cool detail on it. I don't really like the yellow windshield, but hey, it's a very cool Nissan casting. I hope we see more versions of this. It looks very cool. I love this. A lot of people love customizing these. So there you go. There is the Nissan Silvia S14 Drift, car number four out of eight of the Series 2 mix. Then we land straight back in American Muscle. This one is car number five out of eight. This is the 70 Pontiac Firebird, or custom 70 Pontiac Firebird, whatever you want to call it. This one is a casting I don't really like a lot, but it, since it's in the Ultra Hot, it looks amazing. I had to grab it. This is the only casting out of this series that has the normal modern day wheels on it. This is in the same Spectra Flame green color as the Cougar Super Treasure Hunt from 2018. Sorry about that, 2019 actually, guys. This one, once again, it's the full premium treatment, front and back, cool deck on the sides, Spectra Flame green, black plastic base. Very cool looking set, in my opinion. This one is also a peg warmer, so there you go. There is car number five out of eight. And then we hop straight back into JDM again. This one is another one of the most sought after ones of the set. This is car number six out of eight. This is the Honda Civic Si. The last, this thing has been popular ever since it's released. It was released in 2001, I think it was. Then they retold it in 2021 to make the proportions more accurate. And ever since they retold it, we've been seeing a lot of this casting. The most recent was the Civic set, which was gobbled up. As you can see here, I have a loose one here. See, the spec flame blue really pops off on this thing. Full details, I did wheel swap this one. I love this thing. This thing is really clean. The wheels go good on it. I wish there was a metal base version for this one. I love how the back lights are detailed. Very amazingly. It even says Civic on the back. Very wild deck on this one. It even has a blacked out hood, so uh, maybe like the Civic. Let me know what is your thoughts on that one. And then we land straight back into American Muscle with car number seven out of eight. This is the 1971 Chevy El Camino. This was a Super Treasure Hunt in 2013. This was also, I believe, a Kroger exclusive. I think it was a Zamac at one point. This one is in Spectra Flame dark black, same color as the Jaguar F-Type Super. This one is an underrated cast, and this one's also a peg warmer. I love the full tr premium treatment on this one. Love the deck on it. It's a pretty cool looking truck. I think it's underrated. I think it needs more love. Maybe you like the El Camino. I like it a lot. Every car of this set I like a lot, to be honest. It's, it's a very cool set, so... Uh, there is your 71 Chevrolet El Camino, car number 7 out of 8. And then finally to conclude this set off, we go to European style. This is the one that only comes one per case. This is the Volkswagen SP2. This casting has had an explosion of releases ever since it first came back in 2019. The last time this car was released for the Ultra Hots mix was in the Volkswagen set in that beautiful British green. This one comes in Spectre Flame Lime Green. It's the full treatment again. Very cool deck on the side once again. But wait till you see the back. Look what it says on the license plate. It says Ultra Hots on the license plate. That's what I like about this one. This one is one of the most underrated castings, in my opinion, that Howells has ever made. And I think it deserves more love. It's a very cool car. It's a very underrated car. Not a lot of people talk about it. But in my opinion, I think it's a pretty cool car. I mean, if I had one myself, I'd love it a lot. So there's your Volkswagen SP2. All right, now we're here at the end of this video. And this video can't be complete with picking out my favorite model of this series. It's a very hard one to pick. There's a lot of cool models here, but I gotta say, it's the Civic. It's gonna make a lot of people nuts. I love the Civic over the S14, but I love the S14 as much as this one. What I like most about the Civic is just very clean, simple looking. Even without the rear range, this looks pretty good. The blue pops off. All the combinations on this look really good. The detailing is just amazing on this one. I think it's a very good car, so uh, yeah. Let me know, but once again, let me know in the comments below what is your favorite car of the set. Have you found the set yet? Have you been lucky? Like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.